Next week, if Hollywood being in town wasn't enough, the residents are excited to learn that the Sunrise crew are heading to Summer Bay to interview Stevie. For UK folk who are none the wiser, Sunrise is the Seven Network's breakfast show that broadcasts across Australia every weekday morning, hosted by Natalie Barr and former Olympic sprinter Matt Sherva Shervington. With John still hanging off Nelson as he offers his assistance any way he can, Nelson asks if he'd be willing to sign a release form. They want to begin Stevie's interview by having John drive her onto the beach in the surf club's Can Am buggy. John is stunned, and Marilyn goes to ring Jet to tell him that his dad is going to be on national television. John spends the rest of the day telling people to be sure to tune in the next morning, but when the day finally dawns for JP's 15 minutes of fame, he's nowhere to be seen. Is confused, as his Stevie who is reassured by Cash that John won't let her down. As Alf goes to investigate, he finds John in the surf club office in a panic as he attempts to go through some rehearsed words. John's managed to psych himself up so much that he has stage fright. With only minutes to go until the live broadcast, Alf is forced to step in and drive Stevie down to the beach. Stevie realizes that Alf must be wishing he was anywhere else right now as they await their cue, but the two end up sharing a touching moment when they realize that they actually have a mutual interest in fishing. It's plain to see for Alf that Stevie has worked hard to where she's got today, and she's grateful for his kind words. Stevie's quick to introduce Alf to the viewers as her new fishing buddy, with Shervo commenting that he is quite the fan. As the interview goes on, Stevie is momentarily thrown when Shervo brings up the subject of her stalker, Sydney Wickham. Sydney is currently on remand after attempting to attack Stevie during a fan meet and greet. Stevie admits that it was a tough time but now that he's behind bars she can move on with her life. After the interview draws to a close, Alf is able to play chauffeur again to Shervo as he asks for a lift back up to the club. Meanwhile, a saddened John sits alone in the office as he receives a text from Jet, who had organized a watch party with his mates, asking where he was. Poor old JP.